Hi, my name is Harley Holm. I'm a graduate archaeologist working for GML Heritage and the Aboriginal Cultural Heritage Team. Uh, today we are cutting open some soil samples of the Parramatta sand body um, that was recovered during the Parramatta light rail excavations. Um, we're really excited about these samples because no other project has been able to go across the entire Parramatta sand body uh, like the Parramatta light rail has um, and so we're able to do some um, science and some testing on these samples that no one's been able to do on the sand body before. So we've gone down four meters um, and we're really excited to see the formation process of the sand body as well as, the, as, well as its age. Um, so today looking at the samples we have uh, Stephen Gale who is a sedimentologist from Sydney University uh, and we have Molly Quinn who's a PhD candidate who um, analyzes OSL samples and does the dating. Okay, my name's Stephen Gale, I'm from Sydney University. Um, this project involves looking at something called the Parramatta Sunbed, and the Parramatta Sunbed is a, a terrace of the Parramatta River. In other words, it's something that's been laid down some time ago by alongside and adjacent to the, the present river. Um, this is archaeologically interesting because it has at the top of it some of the most ancient archaeological artefacts found within the, the, the Sydney area. Now our part in this involves looking at the environmental conditions under which those deposits were formed and so we've taken some very deep cores and we're going to have a look at the sedimentology of those cores and also importantly we're going to try and date that, that material and so Molly, did we come across to Molly? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, uh, my name is Molly Quinn. I am a student at Macquarie University and I will be using optically stimulated luminescence to try to age the soil in these cores. Um, the way we do that is when sediment is exposed to sunlight, there's sort of like a reset for all the little quartz grains in there and all the electrons are free to move about. When that sediment is buried, those electrons get trapped in higher and higher levels. So if you can take that sediment all in like a dark bag and in a dark sample to the lab and then under red light conditions open the sediment and expose it to light. How many electrons luminesce um, is a way to date how long it's been since that sediment was exposed to light. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I'm really excited to find out the age of this sand body. Um, it's been this has been my first project working with the Parramatta sand body uh, and the archaeology in it has been absolutely amazing and spectacular and so it's kind of interesting to learn a bit more about the history of the sand body itself um, and not just the people who are living in and around it. Um, so it's very exciting. 